My palm itches. Where's the money? Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Today we're gonna talk about some easy ways, well, I don't know about easy, but some good ways to lose 10 pounds in a month or if you want to lose maybe five pounds in two weeks. These are just some healthier and simple ways to get a little bit of weight off when you need it. If you are like me, I gain and lose 10 pounds constantly, five to 10 pounds. I fluctuate and it drives me crazy, but when I wanna lose that five pounds to fit in my dress or 10 pounds because I was not paying attention to my diet whatsoever, I consciously do these five things, maybe one of them, maybe two of them, and I see the weight come off. So I hope that I can help you guys if that's what you wanna do. Now, the reason that I chose 10 pounds in a month is because 10 pounds in a month is a healthy number. It's only two and a half pounds per week. It's doable and you're not going to feel starved. You're not going to feel like you're missing out and you're not going to have this constant feeling that I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet. So I'm going to go over the five ways right now. Number one, and this is probably one of the most important ones, and that is to not eat after 6 30 p.m. I made it 6 30 because what I do is I don't eat after six o'clock. What Oprah does and everybody wants to know what Oprah does. I saw a program where Oprah was being interviewed one of the countless times about her weight and what she said is that her kitchen closes at seven. All right, we don't all have kitchens to open and close, but it is a good idea to stop eating at a certain time so that the time in between when you stop eating and go to sleep, you have time to digest your food. So if you're planning out your meals during the day, just plan on eating dinner a little bit earlier than you normally would. Number two, eat a gigantic breakfast. This is a good one because you're supposed to eat like a king in the morning and what is it, eat like a pauper at dinner? What, so like you're rich in the morning and poor at night? I don't know what the saying is, I'm making stuff up, but you want to have a good hearty breakfast so that you will have energy and your energy will be utilized during the day. And yes, you still get to eat lunch and dinner, but just make it smaller. You won't want as much lunch or dinner when you have a very big breakfast because it's in your belly and it lasts all day long. So do that. Number three, no carbs after 1 p.m. I chose 1 p.m. because noon is lunchtime. When you work, you get maybe your break at noon. Eat all the carbs you want, one o'clock, no more. Dinner time, you're gonna have your vegetables, which yes, they do have carbs in them. Try to choose one like salad or green beans that don't have carbs in them. Eat your meat, that's Pink Floyd and you'll be satisfied because you're still eating, you're just not eating carbs. Number four is portion control. This is a tough one because I love to eat and I eat a lot, but if I'm paying attention to my weight, I will cut my portions down by half at least. So if you're out at a restaurant and you order food, cut your portions in half, cut your rice in half, cut your meat in half, cut whatever you have there in half, eat that, take the rest home to eat later, but not after seven says Oprah. And if you're at home and you're having lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever, use a plate or a bowl this big rather than a plate this big. Or just put portions that are the size of your fist rather than what I usually like is the size of my head. Number five, drink a big glass of water before every meal. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. You're supposed to drink water in the morning because it gets everything flowing, gets your intestines moving, it's clearing out your system, getting it ready for the day. Bam, when you eat breakfast, you're not gonna wanna eat as much. When you eat lunch after having a big glass of water, you're not gonna wanna eat as much. And of course, I'm gonna say the same about dinner, aren't I? Yes. You're supposed to drink water throughout the entire day, but make sure that you drink a big glass before eating. You will fill up way faster and you won't eat as much, and that right there is the goal to losing weight. That's it, those are the five that I'm giving you today. Ooh, I just made 10, didn't I? That's the five that I'm giving you today. Here's an extra way to eat less and perhaps lose some weight from it, and that is to brush your teeth. I know that when I'm feeling snackish, I brush my teeth, and my desire to put something in my mouth, which is constant, I know what you're thinking, stop it, is gone. I don't want to eat 
any longer because I just brushed my teeth. It's minty, it's fresh, and I don't want to ruin that. So that's an extra way to lose a little bit of weight here and there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys have any tricks on how to lose weight. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye.